I want to start by telling you a little story about Tesla. Um, two years ago, just two years ago, Tesla was dealing with a problem that car makers really don't like, which is cars bursting into flames. <laughs> this is never a good thing, okay? This is just never good. So this was happening, okay? Uh, a Tesla Model S <laughs> burst into flames uh, in Washington State. People got worried about why this might be happening. Two weeks later, the same thing happened in Smyrna, Tennessee. Well, at that point, the federal regulators opened an investigation into this. And we all know how that goes. What happens is they conduct their investigation. It takes a long time. Eventually, they figure out the problem. Zillions of cars have to be recalled to the dealerships and fixed and then sent back. And it's a real hit to the reputation. And it's a huge financial hit to the company. Except that. None of that happened in this case. The problem, it turned out, is that the Model S has a real cool feature where at highway speed, that it lowers its chassis to make it more aerodynamic. Well, in that attitude, if it runs over a little piece of metal, like a bolt or something like that, and it jumps up and hits the undercarriage in just the wrong way, it can cause the battery pack to catch fire. And that's what was happening. So the Tesla engineers figured that out. Once they figured it out, overnight, they sent through the cell phone network a software update to all of the affected cars, raising the chassis by one inch at highway speed. When they did that, the problem went away. The federal regulators closed the investigation. There were no recalls. Problem solved. Now, this indicates a number of things. Using software and the mobile phone network, Tesla was able to avoid any possibility of a recall. They don't have any dealerships anyway. They have showrooms around the country where you can go test drive a car if you want. And then you order and configure your car online. Very simple. More broadly than that, the technology that Tesla, Tesla uses, the electric car technology, is just fundamentally simpler than internal combustion technology. And thus, they can make their cars using fewer people and less capital than traditional incumbent car makers can. Now, when you combine all of those factors, here's what you get. General Motors, last time I looked, created about $1.85 of market value per dollar of physical assets. Tesla creates $11 of market value per dollar of physical assets. GM was creating about $245,000 of market value per employee. Tesla was creating $2.9 million of market value per employee. Now, you don't get differences like that just by being more efficient. Those companies are in the same industry, but Tesla is a fundamentally different idea.